Now we are now joined in the studio by Professor Yang Yuguang from the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. Welcome to our program, uh, Professor Yang. Well, uh, we've been talking about the size of the Long March 5 uh, carrier rocket. It is larger than others, uh, apparently. Then what makes these uh, large, uh, uh, the large rockets so difficult to design? And what kind of a technolo technological advancements have been made in terms of designing a big rocket like that? Uh, well, Dongying, you may notice that the diameter of the core stage of Long March 5 is 5 meters. That's a great uh, advantage. Uh, you know, for many years, China's, uh, the diameter of China's rocket has limited to 3.35 meters due to the limitation of the railway tunnels. This time, we can launch Long March 5 with a 5 meter diameter. That means not only we can build a larger rocket, but also means that the whole uh, infrastructure has been made, has been completed for this kind of rockets. A five meter, uh, a different diameter is quite difficult and uh, quite, uh, quite, uh, quite better to achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, and second, uh, you know that uh, in last year and this year we've already launched the Long March Six and Long March Seven, which already tested the 120 ton, uh, ton level uh, rocket engines. Mm -hmm. This time we will also use this as engine, but for this time the Long March Five will use the first 50 ton level mm -hmm. uh, liquid hydrogen and the liquid the oxygen uh, engines which has very high performance uh, in the future and also uh, for its second stage we will have the uh, highest uh, specific impulse which is the most critical figure for a rocket engine the most highest performance in China's uh, rocket engines the 9 10 level uh, rocket engine in its second stage so what's the purpose of a designing and making a a rocket that bigger than others, and what role does this uh, Long March 5 car rocket uh, play in the overall Chinese space program? Uh, for about one or two uh, decades, uh, China's uh, Although we've already achieved the uh, second largest number of launches uh, just behind U.S. or Russia, uh, but uh, for the concerning the capa uh, capability, the China's launch vehicle is far behind other countries, uh, such as uh, U.S., Russia, ESA, and Japan. So this time we ha have the launch vehicle with the lowest uh, capability of more than 20 tons, which is very critical for China's manned space program. You know that uh, every module of China's future space station, which has three modules, mm -hmm. are exceeding 20 tons. So only Long March 5, or exactly speaking, Long March 5B can launch these modules into space. Mm -hmm. And for the China's uh, future lunar sample return missions next year, the long, uh, Chang'e 5, only Long 5 can launch this so heavy probe to mm -hmm. the lunar orbit and mm -hmm. uh, to take the samples back to the Earth. And mm -hmm. for the China's future uh, Mars mission and also for China's uh, future uh, accelerating of its uh, global navigation satellite system, the Long March 5 also plays a major role in these schemes because uh, in every launch, Long March 5 can launch uh, for uh, navigation satellite into mm. space. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Professor Yang Yuguang from China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. Thank, thank you, you very much for your insight.